Basil Georges, who plays Prospero as the main uh, character or the lead in the production of The Tempest, has joined us now. Good evening, Basil. How are you? Good evening, Spirit. How are you? Good, thanks. Lovely to be here with you this evening. To begin with, uh, it's obviously your first time being the lead of a production. You've been involved in a lot at Trinity and a lot outside of Trinity, but how has this experience been for you, sort of running the show and being the, the centre of attention? Uh, it's been a whole different experience with Big Fish. Uh, I was just a some minor character, but it was, and we stood still it was a lot more active with Big Fish, with the dancing and it. But this being a lead, having all these lines, it's, it was a whole different experience for me, but it was good. Now, a question that a lot of people are probably asking right now is about that beard. Obviously, you did get permission to grow it out a little bit over the past couple of weeks, but tell us about that beard and, you know, that whole experience, because yeah. it is quite interesting yeah. for all those people out there. Yeah, so I, uh, I got permission to grow it out from um, 18 people so that this beard could be uh, adhered to my face with glue, so I had to glue this beard on my face every night. It's a long process uh, to take it off as well. It takes quite a while, but it's all worth it. It's all worth it for the show. It's all worth it. And another interesting fact, you were telling me you had to memorise 5,000 words for the production of The Tempest. Tell us about that process and how you felt, uh, you know, trying to memorise all those words for tonight and yeah. for the, the previous pr uh, performances. Yeah, um, it was actually, this is probably my, my, my toughest uh, line remembering because uh, quite a lot of lines and 5,000 words is a lot. It's like it's about two essays, remembering two essays or three essays. Yeah, it, takes, it, took, it took about, I reckon, two weeks to remember all of it. Um, I think I was remembering, rem remembering up to the uh, uh, probably like Monday, and I finally got everything down. But yeah, no, it was it was a long process, but I got in the end. Yeah. Well done, Basil. A real credit to you. Last question. Uh, in terms of the Greek touch on this, obviously you're of Greek heritage, so am I, and it is uh, centered around a Greek character. So what personal touch have you put on this, and the producers put on this to make it that bit more Greek and that bit more cultural? Um. Well, I think just a bit more, a bit, a bit of dancing, a bit of Greek dancing I chucked in there. Yeah, 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 I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, just a bit of Greek touches there and, you know, yeah, a bit of opera, you know, just get it, yeah, all the time. Well, Basil, thanks very much for your time. I know it's a busy schedule for you, but thanks for finding the time. All the best for tonight's performance and we'll try and catch up with you a bit later on. Ewan Marshall has kindly joined us uh, yeah. after his face has been painted yeah. and ready for the final performance. Evening, Ewan. How are you, mate? I'm good. Ready to go? Uh, for the last yeah. One? It's kind of surreal that we've got like this far, but yeah, mm. I'm pumped. Tell us about the experience for you. How have you sort of uh, immersed yourself in a production? It's your first one for Trinity, and yeah. how have you enjoyed that and uh, interacted with you know, people that you probably haven't interacted with before, whether it be Trinity or MLC? Uh, yeah, at the start, it was pretty weird. Mm. Like, um, the process of like organising the play, working out what was happening, um, I didn't really know what was going on. But then the last two weeks, it's all kind of like shaped together and it's been really cool to like watch everything shape into a real play, a real story kind of thing. And uh, tonight, so in terms of the production, what sort of role do you play uh, in particular? Uh, so I am um, a farmer and a sailor. Uh, they're pretty small roles, but like I do a bunch of other stuff like carrying boxes in and out, um, opening up tables, stuff like that. Regardless of what you're involved in, the creative arts is always at the centre and at yeah. the heart of what you do. And I know you're involved with rugby and other co-curricular activities, but how important is drama to you? And you've been doing it for so long, and, and what does it mean to you to be uh, part of a play? I just like it because it's, it's really fun. You like, mm. really get, probably get to express yourself. Mm. Um, it's, really, it's not like any other subject. Uh, it's a lot, a lot more like getting up and getting active and stuff like that. And it's a lot, it requires a lot more out of you physically. Well, you and good on you for getting involved. Uh, all the best tonight. Yep. We'll catch up with you later on, but uh, all the best. Break a leg. Thanks. Now, Adrian McManus, better known as Francisco in Trinity's production of The Tempest, has kindly joined us. Good evening, Adrian. How are you? Not too bad, mate. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Nice to be here with you just before uh, we kick off for the final performance very shortly. Now, first question for me is how have you found this experience working with MLC, working with your fellow peers, getting closer with them? How has that been for you, Adrian, personally? Well, the main thing that I realised was that Trinity, our relations extend far beyond Victoria Street, Prospect Road, Seaview Street. They go all the way to MLC, they go all the way to Newtown, and it really is amazing. I joined The Tempest purely just to make new friends, and we all know one of the things we always say during warm-ups is we're all one big family, and that really is a truth now. It's, we, we are genuinely say it's our last show. We really are. It's like we're breaking up a family, but yeah, it really is. It's, it's, it's an inexplicable experience. It really is. 
It's great to hear, Adrian. You know, a lot of time spent together, you know, a long process, and it's all culminating in the final performance this evening. Last question for you is regarding these wonderful bagpipes that you're holding. Now, obviously, that's a bit of your cultural touch to this uh, production, but yep. if you'd like to tell everyone out there uh, what pride you take in your, your culture, and if you can just play them a little piece so they can have a sample. Oh, yeah, no worries. So, um, if it's all right with if it's right with the audience, I might do the playing a little bit. So for this, for the Tempest, we made our own, comp the amazing musical director, Mr. Cook, he actually wrote our own, he wrote a song called The Bee Sucks, which is sung by Ariel, Ryan Whitford, amazing actor, amazing musician. And he sings this, this is a jig, played in six, eight times, so here's a bit for you. So that's, that's a little bit for you. And what was the other one? The pride I take, well obviously I'm of Scottish heritage and mm -hmm. it's the one thing I'll never, I'll never let go of it. Um, it's something that, it's a reason to wake up, it's always a reason to wake up in the morning. It's mm -hmm. the thing I'm most proud of, the, the heritage, the, obviously the music, the religion, um, mm -hmm. the two things I'll never give up on and the things I'll always lean on is my Christ in Scotland. So that's, that's, just, that's me in a nutshell basically and that's the pride I take in the Highland Pipes. Very well said, Adrian, and very well played. I'm very Thank impressed. Uh, it's great to see that you sort of injected a bit of culture into uh, the school's production. So well done on that, and well done, obviously, to Mr. Cook, the musical director. Thank Thanks you. for your time. No Good luck tonight. Thank All you. right, and uh, we'll catch up with you a bit later on. See you, Adrian. Thank you. Now I'm joined by Doug Kelly, who has an extremely important role to play with the Tempest production this year. Good evening, Doug. How are you, mate? Good. You good? Are you excited? Yes. So tell us a little bit about your role and what you uh, do in terms of the show and the lighting and, and stuff like that. So I'm the lighting operator. So I basically press the buttons for the cues in That's the great. show. That's great. Uh, yeah. And uh, how have the past two performances been so far? Hard and a little fracking and exciting. So yeah. Well, all the best for the performance tonight. We'll be keeping a close eye on you and we're going to get some footage of you up there doing your stuff, right? Yeah. Thanks, Doug. You too. Peter Mikolos, who is a part of the uh, backstage crew for the Tempest production in 2019, is joined with me now. Good evening, Peter. How are you? Good, good. Are you excited for this evening's performance? How are you feeling at the moment? Uh, only about half an hour until we kick off for this evening. Uh, honestly, I'm feeling pretty good about the show tonight. Um, second run through today. So, um, yeah, I think we really should pull a good one today. So, if you'd like to tell all of our viewers out there what it's like to experience uh, that backstage sort of uh, point of view of the, the performance and tell us a little bit about your role in The Tempest. Uh, so my role in The Tempest is an ASM which is Assistant Stage Management and uh, basically you're behind the scenes and like some people don't really understand how much they really need the tech crew so like with lighting, with sound, with everything and um, yeah I really hope people appreciate the show. Yeah well it was great to see you on Big Fish earlier this year and it's obviously uh, great to have you back for The Tempest. All the best for tonight's performance. Thanks for your time, and we'll catch up with you a bit later on. We'll try and get some footage of you up uh, doing your thing. Thanks, Peter. Thank you. Our lighting programmer, Lucas Axena, has kindly joined us before we kick off for the final performance of The Tempest production for 2019. Good evening, Luca. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you, sir? Good, thanks. Ready to go? Excited? Yeah, it's uh, been a great couple of uh, days uh, doing the show for The Tempest. Um, it's been great doing the rehearsals. It's been a good time. Tell us a bit about your job. You know, it probably goes a bit unnoticed when people are sitting here and watching the actual production itself. So tell the, the viewers out there about, you know, what your role and responsibility is uh, during the performance. Uh, well, during the performance, I, um, I watched over the script and I look at when we've actually, well, during the uh, rehearsals, we've been programming each cue, lighting, each lighting scene, and um, we've written that into the script, so now we know when we get to the actual live shows uh, I know when each uh, scene is at. So um, during the shows we just watch the script and uh, we cue the right scene at the right moment. 
It's a very hard job, and as I said, it does go unnoticed. So well done, Luca. Good on you for getting involved. Obviously, you were a part of Big Fish earlier this year, but being part of a Shakespearean production is quite special. So well done. All the best for tonight. Thanks for your time, and we'll catch up with you a bit later on. Cool. Mr. Cook, who is the musical director and composer for a lot of the music for Trinity's production of The Tempest in 2019, has kindly uh, given up some of his time to join us before tonight's performance. Good evening, sir. How are you? Good evening. I'm very well, thank you. So, so tell us a little bit about your role. Obviously, you're uh, the composer and director, musical director, musical director yes, yeah, for, for this production. So yeah. tell us about what you do and what your role comprises of. Well, I, I, uh, I get to um, tell the band what to do. Oh, I'm the band. Okay, uh, right. You do this. Now, there's also there's two of the actors get involved and play some percussion. We've got the fabulous Brendan Chu, who's not here at the moment, on cello, uh, and Andy Jim was playing some sax. Well, we're using he's not here tonight, but we're using one of his tracks. But anyway, I've, I've written the rest of the music for the show, uh, and what I do is I take the the lyrics and I interact with them and try to make something out of them because Shakespeare's. Uh, plays often have a lot of songs in them, but there's no actual written music, so you can freehand to do what you like with it. And how have you found that experience, obviously recomposing some of uh, Shakespeare's uh, work and, and things like that th throughout the duration of this production? Uh, well, recomposing, I'm actually composing, I mean, and, but using his words, but using yeah. the words as an inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty, pretty happy with some of the tunes, yeah. Can you give us a little bit of something just for the camera now, sir? Uh, okay, well, there's, there's the Caliban, which seems to be the... Uh, the crew's favourite. Ban, ban, Caliban has a new master, has a new master. Ban, ban, Caliban has a new master, has a new master. No more dams are made for fish, nor fetching, firing when requiring. Nor scrape trench, nor wash dish. Has a new master, get a new man. Freedom Highway, Highway Freedom. Ban, ban, Caliban. Has a new master, has a new master, yeah. Beautiful, I enjoyed that quite a lot, sir. A bit of a preview of what we'll see a bit later on tonight. A, a sneak preview, yes. Sneak peek, yeah. <laughs> well, sir, thanks very much for your time. Appreciate all your work. Uh, I think it goes a little bit unnoticed, but you know, I'm sure you'll get the credit that you warrant uh, this evening, being the closing night of the production. Well, so thanks go. very much, sir. Okay, enjoy the show. Appreciate it. I'm now joined by Miss Miss Sergi, who is the director of The Tempest, the 2019 Trinity Grand Street production. Joined by all the cast who did a magnificent job tonight on closing night. Well done to you all. Thank you. Yeah. Now, ma'am, I'm going to start off by asking, how have you found this experience? It's your first sort of show at Trinity that you're directing in full and taking charge of. You've been involved in a lot, but how does this compare to ones that you've been involved in in the past? Look, honestly, I couldn't have happened for a happier cast, a more motivated cast, a cast who came and learned their lines. Or, honestly, the rehearsals were fantastic. I can't tell you how supported I felt by the most amazing actors and the most amazing performers, the most amazing parent body, the most amazing staff. Uh, it's a really special place to work. I'm very privileged. Well, ma'am, thank you very much for your time this evening. Cast, well done. Thank Congratulations. You. All the best. And here's... Yeah!